uh, opening fanfare, silver sandals. I'll just eat. Okay. Hello, here we are. Our opening fanfare is by James Crowley, UW Parkside composer, composed for the 25th anniversary of the UW Parkside Community Band. And we're going to flip the order of the next two pieces and we go on to Early Light and then the Florentina March. Early Light is by Carolyn Bremer, uh, University of Oklahoma composer. And, uh, and it's, even though you might think it's a patriotic piece, it's actually more of a baseball piece. It's actually about uh, the kind of preparation. Just like musicians, of course, baseball, baseball players are very uh, superstitious and they have their own routine about the way they do things. And this is about the whole preparation about getting, for the, getting ready for the big game. Not the game, but just the whole getting ready process. Early light. And then we'll continue uh, with the march by Julius Fuchik, a great Czech composer, composer of circus music like Thunder and Blazes, uh, but also very, some very sophisticated military marches. Thank you. 
that says off. <laughs> we are the official band of the city of Racine, and uh, we're probably best known for our zoo concerts in the summer. We'll be just playing from June 30th uh, through August 11th at the zoo. Our July concerts and the June 30 concert starts at 7.30. The August concerts start at 7. They're always free and open to the public, and we'd love to see you there. Uh, it's a lighter fair, and we really appreciate the chance uh, to rehearse more and play more sophisticated pieces at our school concerts. We played at uh, Walden and Case and Horlick and Park this year, and we always look forward to working with the students. Uh, we're going to continue the program with uh, the Scotch Strathsby and Reel. And actually, it should, there are many Strathspeeds, and there's not just one of them, and, they, and, and Granger just keeps piling more and more melodies, one on top of the other. And the difference between the Strathspeed and the Reel is very little except for the tempo. So when it gets a lot faster, you, you'll know we're in the Reel. And we follow that with uh, the Suite de Vergamendo by Germaine Taillefer. She's known as, um, as one of the late seats, the French composers, around the 19-teens and 20s, when Paris was really the center of the world artistically, not just for music, but in visual art, for dance and ballet, and literature, and uh, all the great composers were there. And the, the six, uh, and most famous ones are Poulon, Camillo. Uh, they, were, they sort of reacted to the Austrian and Germanic tradition of long, bloated, hour and 20 minute symphonies. And they, delivered a much more shorter, succinct musical styles and a kind of caught up. Uh, she became well known to that period. And this piece is the product of the friendship she struck up after she was 80 years old. The, uh, the, the director of the uh, military band for the Garden of Peace in Paris struck up a friendship with her after meeting her at a concert. And uh, he, he, did, he made a couple of arrangements for his band of his works. And then he got a grant from the French government to commission her to write a full-blown, large-scale work for his military band. And this is the product of that commission. Uh, the five movements, the, you know, the first and last movements are called introduction and finale. But uh, in the score and in the parts, it's subtitled the first movement, just like the noise at a fair. And so the first and final movements are really fair scenes. And then we have this uh, beautiful, a uh, lyrical barcarolle, which is a folk song, and then the nocturne, and then the duet. Uh, so here's the Scotch Strats being real, followed by the sweet to murder, the vertimento. Thank you. 
The Racine Concert Band was founded as a unit of the uh, Park and Recreation Department in the city of Racine in uh, 1923. And so in 2022, we celebrated our centennial year. And, uh, and we, uh, through uh, the generosity of the Racine Community Foundation and uh, the Lang Family Foundation, we were able to mount a commission, uh, a celebra celebratory piece and the composer was Daniel <clears throat> J. Van Gelder. The premiere of the piece was to have happened at Case High School at the May concert in 2022, but as we all know, there were no May concerts anywhere in the Senior Unified that year. <clears throat> and so the premiere took place at a, a performance at Holy Communion uh, Church in 2022. So this is the second performance of this piece, and we wanted to make things right by finally playing at Case, which was the intended venue uh, for the world premiere of this piece. The composer, Daniel J. Van Gelder, is a Milwaukee composer, and I met him, uh, I think, in 2018. He was commissioned uh, by the Bel Canto Chorus, and, uh, and it was a very large-scale work, uh, A Christmas Gloria, and it was performed at the Basilica. There were three concerts, they were all sold out. And this work, I was, I was played, it was for a large choir, soloist, organ, timpani and the large brass ensemble. And I played in the brass ensemble, so I met it then. And I was really impressed with how skillfully it was written, but also uh, how intimate it was for a very big piece. So I met it then, and back even then I had in mind the idea that if we could mount a, a commission for a centennial year, he would be an excellent candidate. And uh, he was cheerfully came on board, and he had a year to work on it. And uh, we're really happy with the piece. It's a great celebratory piece, and we hope you enjoy it very much. This is the fanfare and celebration by Daniel Van Gelder.
We'll take just a minute now to regroup as we bring the uh, upperclassmen band on stage for Vanishing Point. Uh, I've rehearsed uh, with the students here four, actually five times, four times in class and for the dress rehearsal last time. And students have been very attentive, we've made a lot of progress, and they're all very dedicated to this piece and to the program, so it's been a pleasure to work with them throughout the month. The piece, the piece, it's a Lake Michigan piece. It was commissioned by the Stur Sturgeon Bay High School Band, and uh, and, it and vanishing point, it invites you, imagine yourself looking out over Lake Michigan and, uh, and imagine that at the horizon what's going on out there because that's a, Lake Michigan is its own whole ecosystem and its whole alternate universe going on out there and uh, we, we intersect with it at the shoreline but not very often way, way out there. And so it's a piece that, asks, that invites you to imagine what's going on in that distant land, or in the, in the ocean, in the lake, at the vanishing point.
Thank you. 